In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix up Lord of the Rings The Fellowship of the Ring game for the PC. This video is for educational purposes only. The fix that you'll be using today is brought to you by myself, Chip, and Blank Name from Team Fix Enhancers. This fix is for the 1.1 version of Fellowship of the Ring. The 1.0 version of Fellowship of the Ring is not supported. The fix includes the following. A fix for the black screen issue on starter. Unlocked resolutions, which will allow you to select any resolution supported by your monitor. Higher field of view, which is also auto calculated to your specific resolution that you pick a proper frame rate capper which will allow you to select a specific frame rate that you want to use on the game and will also make the frame rate extremely smooth and actually usable now windowed mode controller support a level selection menu when clicking new game and a selection of cheats now available to use so installing fellowship of the ring you can install the game normally via the disc with no real issues by today's standards you will however need to get certain files which are required in order for this fix to work and like I mentioned you will need to be on the 1.1 version of the game. Something I need to quickly go over before we get into the fix is relating to our fixes going forwards. So some browsers and antivirus softwares might potentially flag up our fixes. Now to explain in an English way why this might happen, this is due to the fact that our fixes use something called hooks. What we do is we hook inside of the exe files for the games and then we can change the code inside of them. This is effectively how we're able to change the code inside of the exe file which then works inside of our DOL file to allow you to use custom settings within the game. Of course the normal average user is not supposed to be using hooks within Windows and this is why some antivirus softwares and browsers can get a little touchy about this. There is nothing actually wrong with any of these fixes, these are all just false flags. Head down into the description and the pinned comment and click on the first link and it will take you to this page here which is PC Gaming Wiki. This is where you'll be able to find the Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring 1.1 patch. If your game is not already updated to 1.1 you will need to update it to 1.1. If you are a person from the US or using a US copy of Fellowship of the Ring, you can download this patcher and use it in order to patch your game up to 1.1 very easily. And all you have to do is simply download this, run the exe file, which is basically a patching wizard file that you can use to then patch your game directly. There are select other countries as well that can also use this patcher and it will work for you just fine. And also I'd like to add that there are actually certain countries out there that have a 1.1 version of Fellowship of the ring released on the disc by default so you guys don't even need to patch up to 1.1 however certain countries inside of europe as well as the uk you cannot use this patch in order to patch your game up to 1.1 as it does not work with our version of fellowship of the ring we have a way for you to be able to patch your version of your game up to 1.1 without using this patcher if you have this problem we ask though that you join our discord server which is linked down in the description and the pinned comment and we will help you make sure you get your game up to the 1.1 patch so that you're able to use the fix. So download this patch here from PC Gaming Wiki if you are able to use the 1.1 patch. If you're not able to use it, please join the Discord server and we'll help you get your game up to 1.1. Once you've patched your game up to the 1.1 patch, you'll now need to go to the second link down in the description in the pinned comment which will take you to this page here which is GitHub and this is the Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring 1.1 PC patch by us. When you're on this page, you can actually scroll down and take a look at what the fix involved and it will also give you a description of what you need to do as well as just in general what you can do with the fix if you would like to look at that in more depth. In order to download the fix come to the top of the page and come over to the right hand side where it says releases and click on the Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring version 1.1 fix. It will take you to this page here you then simply need to scroll down to the bottom of this page where you can find these three files down at the bottom here and you'll need to click on the top file which is the Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring PC 1.1 fix.zip file. Simply click on this and then save it onto your PC somewhere. So now you've downloaded the fix, go and locate it. In my case, I've created a folder here on the desktop to make it easier for you all. So it's just called Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring PC fix. Once you've extracted the fix content files and opened it up properly, you'll see it will look something like this and have all these files inside of it. Before going over the files in depth and what to do with them, the thing I must add right now, which is vitally important that every single one of you does this before going any further through the fix video, you must must read the readme file that is included with this fix as it contains extra bits that are required for the fix that you will need to go and obtain and put onto the game properly before you can start using the fix. So make sure that you read that readme file and go and get everything that it tells you to go and get from there in order to carry on with the rest of the video. Once you've got everything you needed to from the readme file, you now need to go and find where your Fellowship of the Ring game is installed and open up into the install area which is where the fellowship.exe file is located and all you have to 
do is simply click on the first file here and then you can hold shift and then left click on the level list file here which will select all the files that you need to and you can either do a control c and control v into the fellowship install area or alternatively you can simply just drag and drop. I'm now going to go through each one of the individual files that you need to go through in order to customize the options needed for the fix. So to start off we'll do the D3DAINI file. Once you've opened up the file it'll look like this. There are two options in here. The first option Direct3D8 Disable Maximize Window Mode. This is used for fixing DirectX 8 games with full screen issues. So if you're playing in full screen then make sure you set this option to 1. If you're playing in window mode make sure you set this option to 0. And the second option which is the controller support. If you want to play this game with controllers, then you will want to turn this option to one. If you do not care about playing with a controller, you can set this option to zero. I'd like to add, I will also be going in more depth regarding the controller support for controllers outside of Xbox controllers later on in the video. Once you set the options that you want to in here, you will want to either press Control S on your keyboard or alternatively come up to the top, click file, and then save. The next file we're going to edit is the fellowship.ini file. When you open up the file it'll look something like this. I'm going to go through each of the individual options for you now. So the first option enable patch you should always just leave this at one by default. This enables the patch on the game. If you turn that off then none of this patch will be loaded. The next option unlock resolutions. Basically what this will do is it will unlock all the resolutions inside of the game. So if you go into the game and you look inside the options menu for graphics you'll see that all the resolutions support by your monitor and aspect ratio will be listed inside of there for you to use. Also if you have the little pop-up box that gives you options before you boot into the game which I'll explain how you can obtain that as well then you can choose all the resolutions from that option box as well by default now. So you should leave this option as one. Camera field of view. So the camera field of view basically changes the field of view in the game to be your specific resolution so it fits it correctly rather than having it all over the place and looking a bit weird. By default you should leave this option what it is which is 1.0 the next option enable fps limiter so this enables the frame rate limiter that we put inside of the game for you so that you can actually have a sensible smooth frame rate we highly recommend that you leave this on one by default if you wish to turn it off then you can just put this one to a zero but we strongly don't recommend it because this game is very unstable with its frame rate by default so we highly recommend you leave this on a one the next option that goes with that as well which is the frame rate limit so by default we put it at 60 for you all because this is the best frame rate to use for this game to be brutally honest and it keeps it at a sensible frame rate that doesn't break anything however you can put the frame rate higher if you wish the most i would recommend anyone goes up to is 120 next option fps limiter mode i recommend you just leave this at one as it keeps the game very stable at one if you put it at two it's usually okay however i have had a couple of crashes during our test runs of this with two so i recommend you just leave it on one enable cheat hotkeys so i'll be going over the cheats later on in the video but effectively you are now able to use certain cheats within the game with our fix here so if you want to be able to use the cheats i recommend you just leave this on one the next option force custom window resolution if you wish to play this game with window mode that you simply just have to change this zero to a one and then the two options underneath this which is the custom window resolution options you would change the width and the height to your specific resolution that you wish to use if you don't want to play in window mode then you simply leave that top option window resolution to zero and then finally the option at the bottom here which is fixed game speed tied to fps so this option is really here just for people to have a little bit of fun and experiment with the option if you wish but bear in mind that this option is not directly supported by us so if you start using this option and run into issues and start complaining about it all we're going to say is you should be leaving this option at zero by default once you put in all the options you want to use you can either press ctrl s on your keyboard or alternatively you can come up to the top here and click file and then save and then finally there's one last thing that you need to do before you could start playing fellowship of the ring properly and that is the fellowship patcher.exe you would have seen included with the fix as well you will need to run this fellowship patcher.exe one time what this patcher does is it will patch the black screen issues that you have by default for nvidia cards and other cards outside of amd and it will also unlock the level selection list that you see when you click new game now so all you have to do 
is simply click on this to open it up. Once you do so, you should then see this message pop up on your screen, which will be a success box message, which is basically just telling you that the game's resources and other things have been patched properly inside the main game's exe and other files. So all you have to do here is just click OK. Now that you've put in all the options you want to use, you can go and play Fellowship of the Ring. However, if you want to get that little option pop-up box where you've got to select the resolutions and other things at the start before you go into the game, all you have to do is simply come over to fellowship.exe and then hold your shift key on your keyboard and then double click the exe file. This should then pop up the option box for the game where you can then put in the other options you want to use here. So like I mentioned earlier, when you use the unlock resolutions option inside of fellowship.ini, if you now come to the display mode, you can actually see when you click this drop down box that you've got all the resolutions supported by your monitor available to select from in here. And then once you've got everything you want here, you can just simply click OK. And then once you do so, it will then boot up the game. So now going over some of the bits that you should just be aware of with the Fellowship of the Ring fix here. So by default now, if you use the mouse inside of the game, you'll notice that it will be extremely smooth and actually be quite responsive. So you'll be able to move around the menus and just in general play the game without any issues. Next thing to be aware of, if you go into the graphics selection menu, if you haven't already done this with the options menu from before, when you hold the shift key and click the exe file, you'll now notice that all the resolutions for your monitor will be available inside of the graphics selection resolution area. So here you can go and select any resolution you want and apply in game whenever you like. I want to make it very clear though that you should not go above 2k resolution when playing this game really. The reason for this is because this engine is not built for extremely high resolutions meaning that you will start getting some very serious game problems when you start playing at high resolutions such as 4k. If you start playing at 4k you'll notice immediately not only will all the items inside the game for the HUD etc be tiny but you will also notice that when you start moving around environments or just turning on the spot that you'll start seeing on the side of your screen stuff will start popping in and out of reality so I recommend that nobody plays at 4k resolution with this game. Next thing if you now click on new game what you should notice immediately is there will now be a level selection menu. This basically has every single level inside of the game that we could find and add to a level selection menu for you all to be able to use. You do have access to all the actual main levels inside of this level selection menu which you can of course select at any time and play however you want. So going over the controller support for this game so the controller support that's been added is basically mimicking the controller support of the PlayStation 2 version of the game so the controls will play practically identically to how they would on the PS2. By default the controller support will work perfectly with Xbox controllers so if you're playing with an Xbox controller you can just plug it in and play without any issues using the iron eye method to turn on the controller support. If you're playing with something different such as a PlayStation controller such as PS4 or PS5 for example then you will need to do a little bit extra. There are two methods that you can do in order to play with a controller support on PlayStation controllers. They're both very simple and easy to do. The first one you can go and download DS4 or DS5. I'll link that down in the description. All you have to do is simply go and download it, install it on the PC, let it pick up your controller and then basically play the game like normal. The alternative which saves you having to download DS4 and stuff. If you have Steam installed on your PC you can simply add the game in as a non-Steam game first of all to Steam. In order to do that come to the library page on the Steam client and then simply come down to the bottom left hand corner here where it says add a game and then click add a non-Steam game. It'll pop up a box like this and all you need to do is simply click browse here and go and browse for the fellowship.exe file. Once you find that you can then click add selected program and it will add it to your Steam library. Once you've done that you will then need to make sure you've got the following controller options turned on for the game. Come up to the very top left hand corner here where it says Steam, click that and then click settings. Once you do that it will pop up a box like this and you need to come over to the left hand side here and scroll down to where it says controller. All the options that you want to have turned on to make sure that your PlayStation controller works properly with Fellowship are all here. So make sure you copy my settings like so. Also to verify that everything works properly simply right click Fellowship click properties and then come down to controller and then it should look like this and again if it looks like that you should be good to go. If you then boot up Fellowship inside of Steam all the time you'll notice your PlayStation controller should work perfectly fine and the controller support will have no issues anymore. Obviously you will still need to make sure that you have turned on the controller support inside of the D3 D8 INI file. And finally that brings me on to cheats. So these are the cheats that you can now use inside the game whenever you like. These are all set to the F numbered keys by default from F5 
to F12. And these are the following options for those cheat keys. So F5 is fly. So if you press this in game, basically what this will do is it will allow you to take the camera from behind the character and fly around the environment wherever you like. F6 is drop. What this does is it drops the character into an area where you want to put them. So for example, if you were using F5 to go for fly mode and you went outside of the map boundaries, you could then press F6 to drop your character there. And then if you pressed F5 again, you'll go from the fly mode back into the normal mode behind the character and be able to control your character again. But you'll now be able to walk around outside the map boundaries like this. F7, which is invincibility. F8, teleport. This option is actually broken, but we have left it in because it's a part of the dev menu system anyway. Teleport effectively would have allowed you to teleport to any coordinates that you wished inside the game. However, due to the fact that there was nothing actually left behind in the code for the actual teleporting coordinate system, it means that you will not be able to actually do anything with this option. So it very much is just an option that exists. F9, Mr. Clean. We have absolutely no idea what this option does and there was nothing in the code to tell us exactly what this option does currently if you use it it does nothing but that doesn't mean that it doesn't actually have a purpose f10 which is full health so if you've lost quite a bit of your health and you don't want to use invincibility for whatever reason then you can just press f10 to get full health back f11 suicide this should be pretty obvious basically if you press f11 it will kill your character on the spot and then f12 which is shown visible statics basically if you want to look at all the invisible barriers and walls around environment objects etc then you can press this option and what it will do is it will display all the invisible barrier walls for objects environment details etc all around the actual world that you're looking at this might be quite a helpful option for you speedrunners if you wish to see where some of the invisible barriers are inside the game lastly on the notes of the dev menu stuff we are looking at potentially trying to bring over some other dev menu options we will probably never likely be able to bring across the whole dev menu due to how complicated it is but certain options we do want to try and still bring over so keep an eye out for those in future updates and also restoring the cut levels as people do actually ask about that quite a bit there's been a lot of questions if we're ever going to do that the answer to that is probably unlikely due to the fact that all the file types are packed in a developer specific file type which is very difficult to unpack and do anything with and it will take way too long to be able to do all that to then be able to actually restore these cut levels so the likelihood of seeing the cut levels be restored into this pc port for you all to play is very slim however we're not going to completely rule it out there is a possibility that maybe in the future we might look at it but we're definitely not planning on looking at it in great detail anytime soon obviously if other people want to come along and help with the fellowship fix and try and help in that regard they're more than welcome to and finally we now have a website of our own which is the fix enhancers website this is basically a website home for us where we keep everything together so you can go and look for anything you want here but for example if you want to look for a particular pc fix that we've done you can simply click on the heading up here and then in the content section here you can find whatever fix you want to look for so we're going to look for fellowship of the ring so we just click on this here It now takes us down here to the Fellowship of the Ring PC fix. So this is the PC fix for Fellowship of the Ring, and this is everything that we have within the fix. So it explains what is included with the fix. It also has a link to the actual area where you can download the fix, which is our GitHub area. And of course, down below here, you actually have a little slideshow showing off some of what is actually inside of the fix. And you can see what has basically been improved and sorted out with the fix. And that's all there is to this video. I hope you guys found it useful. A lot of love and time has been put into the Fellowship of the Ring fix. If you have any questions feel free to join the discord server down in the description in the pinned comment also if you are a reverse engineer or interested in actually helping out with fix enhancers at all then feel free to send us an email to our email that will be up on the screen right now and we'd be happy to actually have a chat with you and if you would like to see any of the other fix videos then feel free to look down in the description in the pinned comment and with that being said i will see you all in the next fix video very soon